So to get at the circuit board that the thermometer is, the, the temperature sensor is set to take off this plate, uh, take off the front cover of the heater, which reveals the four screws um, that hold this in place and this whole thing drops down. And there are the four screws. <laughs> And it drops down, revealing the back of the circuit board, and the thermometer sensor is connected right here to that connector. I'm going to leave it connected until I get the sensor itself disconnected from here to make sure I reconnect it on the correct terminals. And there's the cover with the six screws. And this is the temperature sensor right here so I'm gonna back that that nut out and then the whole thing should come on out for me so here's the sensor it didn't fight me coming out because this is a, I guess PVC this piece uh, looks like I had some te Teflon tape on it to keep it from leaking which it did not that's cool. Now, this plastic part, the PVC part, is I think $35, and this one looks like it's in good shape. So I'm trying to decide whether to reuse that one or uh, use the one I bought for this. But yeah, it's still, because the, ins the installation is really simple. You just like pop this one out, pop the other one in, and I'm inclined to keep this old one, which looks like it's in good shape, um, and may maybe get my money back for the other one or keep it as a spare decisions decisions but you can see the wire you know feeds through that that hole down there i think you can see to the circuit board and it reconnects to the panel here's another shot of the sensor itself and you can see that it's looks like water hit uh water hit plant oops had gotten to that part but just fell off which is probably why the thing failed and there's a new unit installed i used a 13 16th wrench to uh, uh uh install tighten the nut being careful not to over tighten it because that's a pvc pipe um and the same wrench uh tighten the top knot so tighten this one last so you can you know turn the bottom nut without twisting the wires then i fed the wires through the same path um, the old sensor went and connected it to the same point on the circuit board so i'm gonna turn on the filter and make sure i'm sorry turn on the pump and make sure nothing's leaking and then i'll test the sensor to make sure that my sensor replacement solved the problem I was having with my ray pack heater. Oh, so we passed the leak test, or there is no leak, so that's a pass. So I'm happy about that. So now let's see if I resolve the other issues. So we're cutting on the power, boards picking up. Far enough. So before I uh, before I change the sensor and the burner just kicked on. Okay. So before I hit the sensor, the uh, it would just uh, go to the error and it wouldn't try to to light off the burner. So the burner's running fine and I'm back in business. So now I can uh, maybe I'll let it run for a little bit before I put the covers back on and make sure solid cool thanks please like and subscribe